Let's start with a point. It's a zero-dimensional figure. Adding a point together constitutes a 1D figure, such as this line. More addition of lines or curving it can make a 2D figure, such as the square and a circle. Lines and curves might get boring. So now let's take a person without depth for a 2D figure. Now if this person gets depth because of eating or inflating, we have a 3D figure. And there's a cube beside, for reference. We're all familiar with 3D objects and we've seen enough number of 3D movies, just to be sure. So, now what is this fourth dimension there? No, being fat doesn't mean you're a 4D figure. No offense. And I'm strictly talking about fourth dimension in terms of modern physics, that is in terms of space and time. Fourth dimension is basically the duration of time. It's not a spatial dimension. For example, let's consider a solar system where Earth is moving around the Sun. Let's say I ignore an axis that is Z or Z as I don't want to be part of controversy and I place it with time. Now, as Earth orbits around the Sun, you can only define its position with respect to time. Similarly for you, when you move, your position can be only defined by time and even when you're stationary, your position is fixed with respect to time. This is the starting point for special relativity and this serves basis for how time can move differently for different objects moving at different velocities, which I'll save it for a future video. If you like this video, maybe you like some of my others, try checking this video out. For people with touchscreen devices, the link is down in the description. Thanks for watching. Also, please like, comment and share. And also please subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every other Mondays and Thursdays. Thanks for watching. Joker Knowledge.